What's up guys, Overdog here. In this video, we're gonna be doing activities for two incentivized test nets. I decided to put them together because they're both DeFi applications and they are on mental test net. As usual, all links gonna be in description, but follow them at your own risk. Also, if you aren't familiar with the mental network, I will suggest watching the mental test net guide uh, video first and then come back to this one to at least familiarize yourself with the process of bridging however here if everything works properly we won't need to bridge any assets and we're gonna start with the galador and based on this announcement campaign is basically done via z request let's just do entry stuff we need to join the discord Get verified as always. Okay, now we should be able to claim that. Follow on Twitter. And here you actually get in your first roll. Now we have this open. So what do we have here? First, use the faucet. Okay, let's start with the faucet. And what's good about this faucet? First of all, we need to connect the wallet. If you don't have mantle, it should suggest you to add the mantle. So in order to use it, we, we need to tweet. All right and then verify it with so again what's good about this faucet it should give you mental uh, tokens as well not just the native tokens of these decks and we're also gonna need this transaction address as always, if you see this, don't worry, it's, as usual, explorers are lagging behind by several seconds. You can just refresh and see that. Okay, do we need to provide, we need to submit the URL apparently. Then submit this one. Okay. Okay, as expected, these are manually reviewable, so we're just gonna move on. Now we need to swap MNT for GLDR. We can go to swap. And here we should see all of our tokens that was dripped, like a Galador token, for example. Also forgot to mention these BIT tokens that you see here. Now they're gonna be called MNT tokens on Mantle. Okay, going back to the task, we need to swap MNT for GLDR. I'm just gonna do a hundred. Setting slippage tolerance. I would suggest to uh, put high slippage tolerance so there is a less probability of transactions failing. As this is the test net, we don't actually care about front running. Okay. This has been confirmed. And we're gonna need this address for this task. Next, we need to swap GLDR for USDC. Same process. Okay, USDC. Let's do 200. We need to approve. Also, when it comes to approving tokens, I suggest to just improve max. So you don't have to do any extra approving transactions after that in case you need them. Okay, approving is done. Now we need to swap. Confirmed. View on Explorer. Copy link and submit it here. And the last swap is going to be USDC for USDT. All the same. Huh, interesting rates.
and swap. Okay. And again, check and swap on Explorer. Let's refresh. Actually, we can just copy the address. Why bother? Okay, next is adding liquidity to the MNT slash GLDR pool. Now go to pools, MNT GLDR, 500 mantle. Okay. Okay, view on Explorer, copy that. Submit it here. Next one is GLDR USDC. GLDR USDC. Okay, I'm just being done. This is a general uh, add-in page. You need to select tokens here. Okay, that will work. Copying that, doesn't matter that it didn't load yet. Okay, and the last one, add liquidity to the any pool of your choice. Let's do GLDR, maybe with DAI. Okay, I need to approve DAI. Again, copy and paste. So these are all on-chain tasks currently. There is a feedback channel. Let's go ahead and post our screenshot and provide the feedback. In my case, everything worked well. So we paste it here alongside with the wallet address and some minor feedback. Second application is Crust Finance. They have a precise guide uh, on Twitter thread that we're gonna follow. The bridging steps we can skip because we already acquired some MNT tokens uh, from Galador Fawcett. And we can start with this step, uh, getting some tokens from their Fawcett. So here we can claim some crust, USDT and USDC. Here we don't need address of every transaction. So we can just do it faster. Let's do one claim of every token and then we can proceed. Okay, next task is to test swap function gonna go to the swap. Yeah, so here we actually have MNT and the wrapped MNT. So let's just do a couple swaps. Then we're gonna move on to other functions. For the second one, I'll do mantle into USDT. And also let's wrap some mantle like 200. Okay, we wrapped it. Next function is testing liquidity. Go on to the liquidity. Okay, what pools can we do? Let's do USDC, USDT. Let's just drop one and one. Here you can select stable or volatile, doesn't matter. As always for approving, I prefer to do the max on the test nets. Now we can add 
All right, we've added liquidity in this one. And let's do one more. I'm gonna do crest and wrapped mantle. Since I have crest. Yikes. Oh, wait, what happened? Form is lagging a little bit, apparently. Metamask just pops non-stop. Like two seconds per transaction and the next one and the next one. Okay, that should be good for liquidity. Next, it's time to lock some crust. Head over to the vest and lock your crust to receive VE crust. Go on to vest, create and lock. Let's do two. I'll select the maximum four years and we're gonna get two VE crust. Fast as always. Next, try to vote screen. Vote on your favorite gorges to receive swappies and bribes generated by them. It is slightly weird because you need to put percentages here and then the button is nowhere near here. You need to go back to this part of the screen and cast vote. Okay, do we need to create bribe? Yeah, it says also try creating a bribe. So we're gonna create bribe. Okay, so after several errors, apparently in order to bribe the pool, you can only bribe the pools that doesn't show zero here. So for me, this is gonna be crust WMNT. Amount should be higher than remaining rewards. Okay, how about 50? Okay, now that worked. So if you get in the same error, amount should be higher. Okay, what is next step? Uh, next, head over to the reward screen and collect the rewards by clicking on the claim button. Rewards. We can claim all. Once you're done, join our Discord to share feedback and bug report. All right, what's in the Discord? By the way, it's called Flare DeFi. And here I'm not sure where to post the feedback. There are channels on the Crust Finance uh, community, but there is no feedback channel, there's only chat. I saw some people posting feedback here. You can try to do the same. If you encountered any bugs, I actually suggest to open the ticket. Also worth mentioning that they do have Zilli, uh, not much here currently, but if you want, you can join and complete a couple of tasks and wait for the updates. This project is very, very early, so we'll see how it develops. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and share it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll see you next time.